Welcome to Games Workshop White Oaks Mall, where I am playing my second game for the league game, playing against Mr. Mike Strang. I have played, you've seen this army before, so I've lined up all of my jet bikes on the back corner with the warp spiders forming a nice little line ahead of it. Wraith Knight's got his toe in cover, as per everything ever. Got two squads hiding in reserve, and we are against Harlequins today. It's a two formation list. We've got Falco's Blade, which consists of uh, two of the Sky Weavers and one Void Weaver, right? Yep, and then it's also got the Segarash's Revenge formation as well, so there's going to be a lot of running. He can uh, run and charge starting turn two. Um, we have deployed, we're playing Hammer and Anvil, as you've seen, there are six objectives, playing Modified Maelstrom as per ITC. Um, and Mike is going to be going first, so we will get back at the end of Mike's first turn. So Mike has finished his turn, and as we can see, the Harlequin advance has come up. This unit has been stealth and shrouded, and the rest of the army has pushed up, trying to get as close to the Eldar as possible, uh, obviously to mitigate a lot of the uh, shooting before then charging. So that is the end of Mike's turn. I am now moving on to my turn one. That is the end of my turn one. A lot of shooting went up the table. I've taken out all of the uh, Star Weavers and the Void Weavers. Oh no, never mind. There's one hiding right there. Look at that. I killed both the Void Weavers and one Star Weaver. The unit is sitting right there. He passed a lot of armor saves to make sure that they didn't all die. The unit of Sky Weavers that came up here, I put a lot of firepower into them, but two up, uh, rerolling to four up is really potent. So I charged them with these two units and was able to take them out with the Farseers in the end. Uh, Wraith Knight was ineffective. I ended up shooting a lot of firepower over there, so it wasn't really a good use of my army, but he did have significant casualties on this side. So we're going to be coming back at the end of Harlequin turn two. Oh, sorry, ITC missions. I got my two killer units and uh, Mike did not get any of his. So we will reroll missions and see you at the end of Harlequin turn two. And so we're at the end of Harlequin turn two. We had a good push up from the Harlequins. They got in com close combat here. And then there is a gray model here that doesn't want to be uh, doesn't want to be shown by the owner, uh, also known as the Solitaire, who came up, took out a unit of bikes by himself, like as he, as he does. This unit got stuck in close combat, and then the rest is all pushed up. So, we what were your missions again? You had to get mission objective two and kill a unit. He successfully killed a unit, so I have to just make sure he doesn't get one of the objective twos. My mission is to kill two units. So we'll come back at the end of Eldar turn two. So we have just reached the bottom of uh, turn two. So it ended with the Eldar turn. We had the Solitaire run up after killing the unit of jet bikes. He was right there. Uh, whiffed completely in close combat, I did, but I managed to stomp on his face. A couple of sixes there. This combat, I managed to keep my models alive, but he hit and ran back a little bit, so he's probably just gonna get ready for a charge. Got rid of this Jeff Jester. So right now we are down to this unit, this unit, and this unit. There's a Death Jester hiding in that building right there. So that's what we have left. I got both of my points. Uh, Mike got both of his points. So now we are on to turn three. We'll roll missions, and we'll see you at the end of Harlequin turn three. So a valiant charge by these guys ended the Wraith Knight's life. However, the story was a little bit different for these guys over here who got decimated on the Overwatch and then we ended as a, a tie in close combat, so those guys are still locked in. Um, the rest of the board is looking like this, so these guys are Veil of Tears up, and they are slowly advancing up the field, whereas I've got the majority of my Warp Spiders hiding in the backfield. I've still got a unit to come in from uh, Deep Strike Reserve, so we'll see if they come in, and we'll see you at the end of Eldar Turn 3. That was the bottom of Eldar Turn 3. This combat still rages on with absolutely no resolution in sight. However, this unit of uh, five Harlequins that was right here got turned on by all of this firepower and was taken off. I got both of my points by holding Objective 1 and an Objective 2. Uh, this unit took a few casualties, but it's still coming up the board. Veil of Tears, not deterring a whole lot. However, I know my long range shooting can't really do anything. So we will come back at the end of Harlequin turn four, which is the top of turn four. However, have they lost 25 Okay, so we hit the bottom, uh, sorry, the end of uh, Harlequin turn four. We had a small charge here that went into the Warp Spiders that uh, didn't quite kill all the Warp Spiders and I managed to hit and run away. This combat is slowly resolving. It's just the Shadow Seer left. Um, one, both Farseers down to one wound, so a little bit nerve wracking there. So we have the one Shadow Seer here, the four guys here, 
the one death jester yeah. here, and then this guy who's going for the hide and seek world record right now. As you can clearly see with that pro editing, it is currently a painted model. So, uh, what missions did you have during that one? You had to kill two units, and we didn't kill one. So, we're going on to my turn where I have to secure objective one, which is this one right here, and kill a unit, which technically I got. So, um, well, no, were they kind of as a squad? No, but I could oh no, I killed the Harlequins. Okay, all right. So we're, that's the end of that, and we'll come back at the end of Eldar turn four. All right, end of the game happened. Uh, this unit that got hit and ran away from got decimated by the uh, warp spiders. Then we had this death jester got taken out by the uh, jetbikes right here. This combat then ended. He managed to take out one of the fasciers as his dying blow, but. Uh, oh, okay. The Guardian jet bikes took him out in the end. So it was a very good game. Ended on turn four. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on the next game.